Okay, so I bought uh, lightly smoked, I look forward to this, lightly smoked, nice Atlantic salmon portion. I really want it from the wild, and so it's not farms, so that's actually really good. Um, I didn't even know what I bought. <laughs> so I've kind of like tic-tac-toed this all around so I could cut it up into pieces easily. And so now I'm going to come close to the bottom of the skin. I don't mind my little bracelet out. There's a little secret I have about healing for energy. Uh, maybe if anybody's curious enough and would like to remind me, put it in the chat. Go to insurancedrone.com, my website, which is for insurance, but that's okay. You can write me through there. We could exchange contact information there. All right. So now I managed to cut it up into pieces. See? Boom. Okay. I'm going to save the skin for deep, kind of like, I'm not, I'm not going to deep fry. I want to, I'm going to saute it and make use of it, right? In uh, olive oil with uh, some onions and make it into like a snack, a crispy snack. That's what I plan to do with that. So it's good. you can see there's still plenty here. Ooh. It's an easy way to cut it into pieces, right? I had cut cut it into a few tic-tac-toe pieces and voila. So what am I going to do with this? So I have some cilantro in the fridge. I have onions. Uh, I really don't need all that because I'm already making guacamole. So I'm going to mix this in with guacamole anyway. All right. I'm going to save this beautiful skin. And I'm going to fry it up. Into like a square, uh, like I said, crisp. And this over here is what I just cut up. I'm going to put a lot of lemon juice in there. Hold on now. Be right back. Okay, so I'm back. So now I've cut up, as you know, all of the salmon, right? And it's, it's not a whole lot for the big piece that I bought, right? Uh, sorry for throwing that and making all this random noise. But now I'm going to, I'm going to have it cure in lemon juice. Okay, I'm actually going to throw the peels in there. Typically, I would purify the lemons, but I'm so used to not doing it. Uh, but I'm going to start showing you how to remove the toxins from the fruits and vegetables. Uh, I need to start doing that for myself and start sharing that with everybody. I'm actually going to put the peels in there also so I could really get all that zest and let it cook. Okay, you can really cook it in salt too. That's why they got salted codfish. Okay, now I'm going to get my cilantro. Be right back. So as you can see, I'm getting all my cooking done all in one day, uploading everything. Why? Because, um, first of all, this over here is going to cook in the fridge, right? Uh, just like my, um, my <sighs> guacamole is cooking and I'm still waiting on some of, um, the cilantro to ripe, right? So I'm put the, that, that's got, I don't typically use, uh, mint in it, but let me tell you something. It sure does enhance the flavor. And I'm just going to throw some leaves in here. I'm not, I'm not going to uh, cut anything up. See? Now, more about this. This actually, if you have high cholesterol or even pathogens in your blood, this really does cleanse your blood. Um, I've been doing it a lot, and finally, my triglycerides and cholesterol has uh, have uh, taken a dive down. For well, the good of me, right? So they they just totally went down. Like after many years, I finally not just figured out this. I've had this, uh, but I never used it as much as I'm using it now. You should put it right by your vein. Okay, that's the way I do it. And as you can see, it's red in there. Okay, it's shooting laser into my blood, cleaning it, purifying it. 
I'm into all this stuff for many, many years. So I'm a pretty good source, but I'm not a doctor or nurse, okay? So now we've got all this in here. Shake it, right? Why not? I'm working almost with only one hand. So it's good to save these containers, right? You don't need to buy Tupperware. Tupperware tries to sell you on the fact that easy storage and all that. Who cares? These containers store inside one in another anyway. So here you go. So now in a few days, this is going to be like whitish. And when it's whitish, you're going to know that you could actually eat it. It's, it's cured. Okay? And I love it to death with um, plain white rice and raw onion pieces on the side. Manja, manja. So now I'm going to label it over here. Put it in the fridge. Set it, forget it for a couple of days, just like the avocado. Um, I got food for about a whole week. It doesn't go bad. Thank God it's winter, right? Um, so when I leave it on the stove uh, for a little bit, I forgot to put, forget to put it away. It still doesn't go bad that fast because I make sure I turn off the heater in the kitchen area. All right. Anyway, thank you for watching. It's so much fun sharing this with you. Let me give you another peek before I say goodbye. And ciao.